Welcome back to part two of my mini Mount Olympus behind the scenes series. In this video, we will cover Hades, Olympus Boulevard, and the theme shop. If you haven't seen part one, no problem, but I recommend that you go check that out after this video. To start us off, we are on a golf cart ride from Medusa to Hades, where we spot something cool. Is that old track from Hades? Yeah. Cool. Do you guys recycle it or just throw it away? I think they, they recycle it. They wait until they get someone to take it off the recycle. Yeah. People that don't ride it, they're really tiny. I mean... I love Hades. Yeah, you do. And then we just gotta give a couple minutes for the lights to turn on. Sounds good. Okay. Maria said that you guys were uh, working on some retracking. What sections are being retracted? Was it? It's a, it's more or less everything's complete actually. Yeah. Yeah. So on the return half, mm -hmm. that so that'll be in the forest there. You won't be able to see that from yeah. the roadside. And then we did like a small piece, probably coming out of the tunnel. Oh, gotcha. You like this ride a little bit? Just a little bit. I'm just gonna, you know. I'm guessing you've ridden Hades before, right? Yeah, many times. Wow. So generally we walk, you always want to walk a roller coaster track facing the direction. Um, it's coming. Mm -hmm. So right now this is the return side, so that's why. Yeah. Fresh wood in here. The wood looks a lot newer in here, but I think it's just because it's out of the rain and the sun. Yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's very tight. <laughs> yeah. I if mean, it... the timber line of trains aren't that wide. They kind of look wide, but they're not. That's true. Yeah, they're not as wide as they think. Yeah. So, theoretically, you could probably stand like this <laughs> yeah, and, not and not get hit. Yeah. Theoretically. Yeah. <laughs> but would I want to try it? No, no definitely not. No. Definitely not. A lot of people don't think about the fact that anything that comes loose. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like people's phones and whatnot. Exactly. exactly. Phone to the skull will kill someone. Yeah, that's why we tell their people to leave all their items yeah. in the station. Yeah, you can see just all the jewelry and crap down here. Yep. Should I be switching sides? Or? Yeah, yeah. And then the walkway kind of ends up here. 
because of the track banking. And usually this is not a light turn. Yeah. Yeah, especially at night, this is a super sweet part because it's so pitch black dark down here. <laughs> like uh, the riders just coming down and just seeing like how close you get to it. That smells like some new wood. Fabled tunnel, fabled turn. <laughs> it actually takes a long time to walk through this whole thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we have that uh, two hours in the morning, and it, it other coasters it takes one guy. Mm -hmm. This coaster it's two guys. Jeez. Because wow. it's what forty two hundred, something like that. Over 4,000. I mean, this tunnel's longer than the Yeah. <laughs> Some sump pumps down here. Yeah, I'm sure water builds up down here pretty. Yes, it does. For sure. And then this is starting to get to the the modified track from 2013. Then. Yes, it wasn't at all. You did your research. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was modified in 2013. Because then the the track actually. It's made up of one inch plies instead of one and a half because yeah. to get the bend radius. you're probably wondering how do they check that part that's where the lift comes in got it so you get the lift you go up there check the insides of the track so did you know it when it was just the hill before we added the 360 mm -hmm. you knew it then mm -hmm. okay i didn't ride it i was too young okay. um but i know that the the concrete footers are still in yes. over there yes. people so. think this is the, the for me this isn't the, my favorite part it's going back into the tunnel. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. Because oh, yeah. you get the airtime into the yes. tunnel and then. Yes. Absolutely. Because, yeah, this is where the, the footers, you can see all the old, like, old footers, too. Yep. That's where it ran. That the, the big hill. Did you ever get to ride it when it had the hill here? Oh, yeah. Was it better or worse? Did you like I, the hill? I think it's better with the 360. Yeah. Because I know that that was... Because if you look at that corner there, it's kind of a tight corner it used to do. So it goes up and then it's just kind of like... Mm -hmm. I kind of like the swooping turn. Yeah, how it swoops around and then does the... Yep. The big overbank. Super cool. Yeah, and I'm a fan of the non-full wooden roller coasters where it's the structure, the lower structure is metal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Yeah, because it, it probably keeps its shape a little bit better oh, than the wood. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. What a... Then I noticed you guys had add that that first hill after the tunnel. It used to be a hill and now it's a double down. Yeah. So, so it used to be way higher. Mm -hmm. And with the old uh, PTC train, it worked. Mm -hmm. But with the, the Timberliner train... It's that, lighter. You know, it's, it yeah. works out pretty good. They yeah. only maneuver things that the yeah. others couldn't. Yep. 
Super cool. Yeah, because the PTC cars, they, they, artic they don't articulate. They have pivots in the back mm -hmm. and the fronts are solid. You know, so they, they kind of do this mm -hmm. and yeah. not much this, mm -hmm. while the Hades is kind of like a, the, the, the new train, the Timberliner is more like a Caterpillar, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Making you guys go on a nice hike early in the morning. Warming up now though, you know, it's good. That's, that's a, a perk of the job. So in the mornings, instead of doing, when I go to the gym, yeah. instead of doing cardio, I just come here and do my cardio. Yeah, absolutely. You got a nice 80 pound backpack on your back. <laughs> oh yeah. Plus whatever like harness you have to wear. Yeah. And Uh, the steel ten, cover, yeah, the, yeah. the ten-inch wide steel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you put that on the um, Zeus's turnaround. Yep. It was super rough for a while, and then you put yeah. it on there, and now it's butter. On the straightaways, it doesn't matter so much, but on the corners, yeah, it's ideal. I'll just casually walk on Hades' track. <laughs> casually. Casually. That would be a little tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've never seen anyone else really get pictures or access like this. This was a. Yeah. Uh, I was like, you know, I might as well ask. And then she's like, oh yeah, totally. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen a lot. No. But I've been here overthinking it, so. Dang. It just rises up just next to. See the track, and it's all—it's a 90-degree bank like this. Yeah. And when you're right in the train, it's like second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're probably somewhere here. He took the picture. Yep. It was right, right here. So. Now this picture was actually the entire point of the trip to remake the iconic picture of Corey on RCDB from when this ride was new. Quick trip rewards card. Oh no! <laughs> One prize possession. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's amazing what they use to do. Yeah, because they probably like dug out the tunnel, put in the trench, and then put the track in, and then covered it, and then put the parking lot over it. Like, look at. So cool. Incredible. Lift card. Water bolt. Comparing to the other ones. This is you... number one by far. The only thing that even compares is. Yeah. The only thing that compares is Zip and Pippin at um, Bay Beach. And even then. Allison's very happy. She loves this ride. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> it's... Yep. Yeah. That's why I wanted you in the back so you could get all the pictures. Get around the corner for her. Just an incredible structure. The tunnel, it's like, 
It's the longest roller coaster tunnel, but I like how it curves too. It's like you can't see the full thing. You gotta yeah, go experience it. Yeah. Yeah. And then this piece of track right here where it bends to the side is just genius. I think that was like one of the first times I ever had an off axis hill like that. That's a big drill bit. <laughs> And you said you guys do a track walk every morning? Yeah, every morning. Jeez. That is a lot of track walk. Yeah, as I said, it's, if you got to do it, it's your cardio. It's your cardio, yeah. yeah you have enough and it's not flat either. It's like yeah. almost a mile of climbing up and down hills. Did you get that picture? Of the off axis? <laughs> Can you tell which one of us was in maintenance and which one of us was in operations at Great America? <laughs> I'm a little bit more confident around the track than she yeah. is. She's doing great though. Oh, she's doing better than a lot of people. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a beautiful day too. Yeah. Go from the center board would be a good shot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Want a breakfast? And now we walk the whole length of the track back to the station. <laughs> so, do you guys ever have to climb up the hill? Oh, yeah. 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 That's very sweet. Every morning, right? Yeah, it's casual thing. <laughs> casual thing, what? It's like 70 degrees? About. Ah. How do you, do you have to clip in for that? Yeah. Yeah. What a cool looking train. I always loved the, the big casting on the back there yeah. with the like spider web looking thing. My engineer brain's like, that's optimized. <laughs> And then these were the first timber liners too. Yeah. Do you know if you guys have had like any teething problems with it? Like any specific interesting parts that you know you've had to change over the years? Uh, has it been pretty solid? Not that I know of offhand. Yeah. It's been more or less pretty solid. Yeah. That's the lead car. Mm-hmm. That's Mr. Hades himself. I just love how optimized these shapes are. Oh, so it has double rollbacks and then the, the chain dog. Yeah. And there's three of them on the train, I think. How many are there? I guess there's quite a few of them. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. So that's really not falling off the chain ever. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, seats are missing from this one. Yeah, well, seats are missing from both of them. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, we took out all the seats. Because then you probably replace the actual seat pads on them fairly frequently. Yeah. I love the Timberliner logo. When you do maintenance, do you guys do your own maintenance or do you send these to Gravity Group and then they do it? So we do our own maintenance and to do like NDP testing and stuff, they have people come in. Oh, cool. And do a deep dive. That's really cool. Detail by detail. Yeah. And then there's like that's new hardware. That looks real nice. The fin brake and drive plate. <laughs> Man. 
safety cables just in case. <laughs> Sweet. After Hades, we went over the, to the south end of the property where the new road is going in. Named Olympus Road, this new road will redefine the entry experience for resort guests. Currently, you can enter the resort by a plethora of driveways along Highway 12. However, with a recent project eliminating many of these driveways, a new plan had to be put into place. Olympus Road uses some of the former site of buildings 8 and 9, cutting the Mount Olympus property in two. All resort guests will take this road west from Highway 12 before turning either south to get into Building 10 or turning north further down the road. This north road then connects to the main lot for the resort side of the park or goes off to buildings two through six. This change will be fantastic for the ease and safety of everyone on property, and it is the start of a massive project redoing the entire north section of Highway 12. To learn more on that project, watch the video in the card right now after this one. Finally, Fofo gave me a tour a couple of months ago of Mount Olympus's creative shop. They use this shop to make a plethora of things around the park, including all of the signs and statues around their properties. It's always awesome when parks have local manufacturing capabilities, so take a look at how this works. All the signs, everything happens here. That's super Ice cool. signs, wallpaper, um, you name it, we can do it. <laughs> That's super cool. Oh, or we'll try to do it. Yeah, definitely. There's some things where it's like, you have to contract it out, but... Not many, though. Yeah. Got our robot. I wish it was milling right now, but that's what created the for, like all the statues you see in the park. Yeah. Icarus, I assume. Yeah, Icarus, yeah. This is a pretzel right now. So, this is Baby Hydra, the heads. Oh my gosh. We got Cyclops over here. That's adorable. <laughs> Those are so cute. They're like so detailed, too. Oh, for sure. <laughs> they they are just absolutely adorable. That's so cool. You said this was manicor? Like baby manicor. Yeah, baby manicor. Have wings, have his tail. That's so cute. And then we'll also label them like little manicor so people know. Of course. Um this is our paint booth. They're taking benches right now. Heck yeah, benches! <laughs> Woohoo! Super cool. And then after they're foamed up, what do you do? Is it like fiberglass? Yeah, no, it's not fiberglass. What is it? It's like this yellow spray. It's like almost like a hard plastic. Hmm. And then... Um, like a resin, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Kind of. Uh, so this is like a layer of it. Oh. Um, but it's a thin layer, so it goes on a lot thicker. Yeah. Break it. Yeah, yeah super like cool. I, it's a thin layer of it. But it mm. looks like this, um, and then it goes in for paint. Cool. I have them actually by Icarus, the tables. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like a terracotta cover. Yeah, those are super cool. Very heavy, too, I'm sure. Thanks again so much for watching this behind the scenes video. I know these videos were very long, but it was an absolute treat to be able to make these videos and show you the insane behind the scenes of a real theme park. Thanks again to Mount Olympus for allowing us all of this access and answering any questions we had, and I will make sure to see you in the next one.